Hola guys and welcome back to another episode of What's Cooking with Careers. I'm Wetu Mene Shikari of course. I'm here leading you throughout this amazing episode. As you can see, I'm on a ship, jokes. <laughs> I'm on a little floaty here at Tenduka village in Koreahap and I will be attending the media launch of the NetBank Kapana cook-off. Now if you're not excited, I'll definitely bring you all the gist that you need to see and to witness here at this launch. Now I'll also chat to Salma Kaolinge from NetBank and she'll tell us all about this great um, initiative that they have going on as well as one of the chefs that will be judging the great dishes that will be prepared. Now if you're excited for all of that and to see the plating, see the meat, see the Kapana, fat cooks, alles, please stay tuned for all of that. If there's something that always brings people together, it's food. And now you have the opportunity to give back to the community. We are cooking up a storm in the canned kitchen and all proceeds from the I Can Cook recipe book will be donated to the Cancer Association of Namibia. The Cancer Association does amazing work to make sure that each and every patient that comes through their doors are taken care of. And by making this purchase of 100 Namibian dollars, you will never run out of ideas to have a meal ready in no time. We're entering the Kapana cook-off area. This is where the media pr practitioners will be. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about how you're feeling about today's event. I am always so excited to be here and to be part of this event. Mm -hmm. um, this is really the kickoff for the big competitions throughout the year, of course. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and as you can see, the tables and the teams are getting ready. Um, this is a fantastic event. So yeah, I'm I'm really looking forward to a good kapana, yeah. good salsa, and of course that blend of these things together in my mouth, then I'll be happy. <laughs> I was waiting for you to speak about the food because you spoke about the arrangement <laughs> and everything. But really we're here for the food. Yeah, we are here so for here the food. Here on What's Cooking, we're really about the food. Tell us a little bit about the ingredients that we're given today. The, the, the judges, well, we as, uh, from the Chefs Association, we're giving each, each team gets their onion, their tomato, and your vinegar and oil, which is the four main ingredients of the, sal of the salsa, of course. And then they would give them the meat as well. Now, what we expect from the teams is please bring your own knife and uh, cutting board, because it is about the cutting of, of this product. And the second thing, of course, that's spice. And everybody's team, please mix your own spice around, play around with the spices. And, and because that's the only way you can get the top proper spice and you're standing out from everybody else's mm. spice. Speaking about standing out, are you going to be one of the judges to see which dish is really the one? I am one of the judges, it's uh, myself, um, I'm, I work at Hartleaf um, from the Chefs Association and I've got Eli, Eli Abel. Yeah. Eli is a chef at the Brewer and Butcher in Sokkerbund at Strandertel mm. and I've got um, Alina, Alina uh, Iambu, uh -huh. she is, uh, sorry, she's a baker, a private baker and I promise you Everybody has had has tasted her cookies or her muffins or her cake somewhere in Vintage mm. because she provides about, I would guess, about 20 uh, coffee shops in Vintage. She provides wow. cakes and things too. Okay, so seeing that you have a great panel of judges, what is one thing that you're really looking forward to when it comes to our skill, when we, you know, chop up the stuff, when we bring out and, the skills? And that is really important. <laughs> salsa, kapana and salsa is about the cutting, is about how it's cut, how it's presented. Mm -hmm. And it's, I always think of kapana as this two-finger dish. Okay. So you only, I only need to dirty two fingers if I eat it. So yeah. if my meat is a nice sliver of meat, nice thinly cut and fits in between my two fingers, and I can pick up the salsa and everything's hanging out a little bit on the side. So if the salsa is cut in blocks, mm. then it's difficult. You only pick up two pieces, but it's yeah. nice slivers, then you can pick up quite a bit. And the sauce dripping off the, and that going in the mouth. I love, ah. the, love the imagery there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, all right. So while we're at this beautiful um, establishment that yeah. we're hosting, the NetBank Cup, Kapana Cook Off, there is going to be a major one that will happen later in the year. Correct. Will yeah. you be part of that also? I am part of that. This is only the media launch where we will ask the media, please get involved. Please tell tell the people more about this and tell them about the competition. Mm -hmm. It's good to have all of you taking part as well. And I think you're cooking yourself as well today, uh -huh. which is going to be good. I'll be judging you. So <laughs> looking forward to that. Uh -huh. But yeah, um, on the 24th of June, we're doing our first regional round. This will mm -hmm. be up in the north in Oshikati. Then we're going, I think it's about 
about to, I haven't got the exact dates at the moment, sorry about that. Uh -huh. uh, but later on we're going to the coast as well, doing a regional around there and a regional around in Windhoek. Mm -hmm. And in the final we're doing at the, 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 the final is the top three and we have one more t person from, from one of these regions, mm. which we'll also invite through, so 10 people going to the final. And that'll be at the uh, Ongwediva Trade Fair oh. in August, yeah, okay. 26 August. All right, yeah. great stuff hearing from you, Chef. And I am sh I'm, I'm super excited to bring up my skills today and also show you what I have to, br to offer. I'm sure you're going to test myself at and think I'll, I'll this. be the judge of your skills. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely know it. it you definitely know it's mine. I got the little tip just a bit early. Ah, okay. Great Looking forward stuff. to Thank it. Thank you so much for joining Thank me. You Thanks. Welcome to my dot NA Cars, your ultimate destination for everything automotive. I am your host, Diana Master. Teamwork makes the dream work, right? Discover the latest models, innovative technologies, and expert insights from our passionate hosts. Learn essential maintenance tips and get exclusive behind the scenes access to the automotive industry. Don't miss my dot NA Cars on NTV every Thursday at 2100 hours. Tune in and ignite your passion for automobiles. Ranging from current affairs, community stories, Thank you for joining the show that highlights the news making headlines in the land of the brave and beyond. Always major victorious. If there's something that always brings people together, it's food. And now you have the opportunity to give back to the community. We are cooking up a storm in the canned kitchen and all proceeds from the I Can Cook recipe book will be donated to the Cancer Association of Namibia. The Cancer Association does amazing work to make sure that each and every patient that comes through their doors are taken care of and by making this purchase of 100 Namibian dollars you will never run out of ideas to have a meal ready in no time. As promised, I'm seated here with Selma Kaulinge. She is one of the representatives from NetBank that will be telling us about this great initiative that we're visiting today. Now, on What's Cooking, we'd really like to know what this, initi this initiative is about. Okay, so this is the NetBank Kapana Cooking Competition. Um, it's about, so it's the ninth year that we're doing this. So NetBank has been um, sponsoring this initiative for nine years. So what it really is about is about celebrating Kapana, but through that we also celebrate business, the, the small scale business people. In Namibia we have so many small scale business people and so we really want to hi highlight that with this competition. Um, so that's basically what this competition is, it's just finding the best Namibian Kapana um, briar out there in Namibia. Yeah. Great stuff. So a little bit of the history that you can share with us. When did this begin and how do you look forward to the future? Okay, so the NetBank Kapana cook-off started nine years ago. It started at the Ongodiva Trade Fair as just an activation type of thing for the trade fair. But then we thought it's such a good idea. Um, let's make it a, 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 a countrywide initiative. Yeah. So what we do now is we go, we have the launch like we're launching today and then we go to the north, the coast and the central region around Windhoek. Mm -hmm. And we have um, smaller competitions in those in those in those towns, and then we take uh, we take the finalists from those rounds, and then we'd have the overall final competition. All right. Yeah. All right. So speaking about the overall winner of the competition, which are some of the parts in the country that you'll be visiting and targeting for this um, initiative? Okay. So we have the launch now in Windhoek, which is a media launch. Uh, we have about 15 media houses that are here at the launch. They are they're actually doing the Kapana competition like the, the, the real people will do, the people will do in the competition. So um, after the launch, we're going to go to Swakopmund. Um, we're going to go to the north and we're going to do the, co the, the central region um, and then the final will be in the north at the Ongodiva Trade Fair. So this is actually a, like a three-month competition and, and we're trying to get 
we're, we're still planning to go to the south in, fu in, in, in the future, but right now we, we're focusing on the north, the, the coast, and the, and the central region. Great stuff. So you just mentioned that you started about nine, or exactly nine years ago. Um, the winners that you've engaged previously, what can you say about them? Do you know where they are now? How, is, how are their businesses doing? Okay, so so the NetBank Kapana Kukov, you don't only come and, and you know cook Kapana. The winner actually wins a very very um, uh, a very good prize. They win a, a trailer, a food truck that's worth a hundred thousand dollars, and it's a fully fully fledged food truck. So and they also win ten thousand dollars cash, which is, which really helps you to springboard you to become a a, a business a business person. So um, you're really given the foundation, you get the food truck and the money. And our previous winners are doing very well. Um, we have a number, number of winners who've opened their food truck, who now employ people, who even, we even have an, uh, a winner who actually bought a second food truck from his, from his business and is now employing over like six people. Nice. So, so the competition is really like a launch pad to become a, 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 business, a business owner. And that's why really NetBank is involved because we know that um, informal business like Kapana and stuff like that um, can also it, it also it also contributes to our economy. Yeah. Yeah. Truly, thank you so much for that great highlight. But let's speak about some of the partners and um, people that you have on board to work with you. Who are those? Okay, so we'd really like to thank our partners. It's Buck Pro. Obviously, uh, they have their uh, fake cook flour, and obviously Kapana and Feko go together. So <laughs> Buck Pro is our partner from Namib Mills. Um, Agra is also a partner, um, and then the Namibian Chef Association, uh, they also partner with us because obviously they give the stamp of quality and the standard, so we've also partnered with the Namibian Chef Association, and they are the ones who also give our judges, supply our judges for the, all, the competition across, across the regions. Great stuff. So to conclude the short interview, I'd just like you to touch on some of the importance of having, you know, initiatives like this from corporates and to see how they involve themselves within the community. Okay, I think it's very important. Uh, an initiative like this is very important. First, it looks at the small scale business uh, owner, you know what I mean? Um, I think a lot of us have heard that phrase like, uh, or have someone, or know someone who has said that, no, my mother put me through school through Kapana, you know what I mean? So it's really, it's really, it, it, most, of, most people will think of it as informal or not, but it's really the type of business that really um, um, make the economy grow, make the economy function. Yeah. So that's why NetBank is, is, is involved in it. Um, it's obviously uh, also want to highlight SME, SME owners, the importance of owning your business, the importance of business owners. Um, so yeah, I think that's why we're involved. And Great stuff. Thank you so much, Selma, for joining me today. Okay. Um, we'll head on inside and see what the media practitioners are up to. Good evening and welcome to Sunset News. After the break, we take a look at the sports. We bring you economic indicators, tomorrow's weather and sports. I am Aina Raiza Kweon. Another exciting episode of Pirongo Tobi. Please be here and tell you what you are first. You want to come
Trophy alongside my teammate here, Rita Kakello. <laughs> All right, so um, here's the Netbank Kapala Kukong. All right, awesome. So tell me, man, you guys have a very interesting presentation over here. What do you have for the judges here right now? We have a pineapple. That's what we call it. Okay, so um, we decided to get the insides of the pineapple out. I don't know if you guys get what I'm saying. Just because we wanted to serve inside the pineapple to make it look a little bit nice. And then we have two different salsas. A salsa with pineapples and then the original salsa because we didn't want to take away from that flavor. You know, we like originality here in Namibia. And if Ranging from current affairs, community stories, Thank you for joining the show that highlights the news making headlines in the land of the brave and beyond. Always major victorious. If there's something that always brings people together, it's food. And now you have the opportunity to give back to the community. We are cooking up a storm in the canned kitchen and all proceeds from the I Can Cook recipe book will be donated to the Cancer Association of Namibia. The Cancer Association does amazing work to make sure that each and every patient that comes through their doors are taken care of. And by making this purchase of 100 Namibian dollars, you will never run out of ideas to have a meal ready in no time. Presenting NTV or slash Namibian Sun. How are you doing? I'm good with you. How are you? <laughs> Did the smoke not catch up with you? No, I'm a smoke pan right now. <laughs> I am definitely. Ah, okay. So give me a little bit of gist. How was your experience creating this kapana dish? Okay, my experience was fine. It's just the smoke. Um, I think I can finally add dry mustard to my CV now. Uh -huh. um, yeah, so my nose was running, my eyes but it was just a lot going on. But we took made it and yeah, it was my first time buying actually, so I'm proud of myself. <laughs> the chef said the meat was a nice just tender uh -huh. and it was just giving. I mean <laughs> <laughs> it should give, it should give. Now what else what is your special ingredient? What did you bring today to make your dish stand out? <laughs> okay, so um what we did, unique I think, for mm -hmm. our team is we had a diff or we had we, we had a different target audience basically because mm -hmm. we targeted for the medium rare people, the well done people, and uh, what is what is still there? Medium rare, well done. And yeah, we had some <laughs> <laughs> some fat. We just say the medium just for control. Uh -huh. So yeah, I think that's what we brought to the table. Um, no one else did that. Only us. Only our team did that. Okay. And then she was like, I really love it. Just this unique um, uh -huh. trouble down the meat. As I said, the meat was soft. It was juicy and it was like The only thing that we didn't have was spice because now, Micheline, you are rocking up to a kapana mm. competition, cook-off competition, and you don't have spice. What, what did you do to compensate for that? Um, so we had spice <laughs> with the salsa, uh -huh. right? So the little that we had spilled, which we planned on, you know, just putting on the side, yeah, because yeah. there should always be spice. But yeah, I yeah, know you it made it work. Either way, you know. Do you think the judges loved it? I think we are going to win. Oh, you it. think you, you yeah. think you're going to win? second prize or just something, man. Because it's my second time now. Uh -huh. I need to win. That's something. Yeah, no, I definitely uh -huh. love the spirit. Thank you so much for joining me. <laughs> Thank you too. <laughs> Alright, now we're seated here with Hancho Kapopi. How was the bride? Oh my god, how do I even put it into words? It was uh. absolutely amazing. I had loads of fun. Shout out to NetBank 
um, and all its partners for bringing all our partners together here and actually letting us create such an amazing braai um, to kick off what is the Net Bank Kapana Cook Off where one of one of our ultimate braai masters can walk away with a fully furnished trailer. Great stuff. Now, what do you feel is important about this whole initiative? Seeing that you know Net Bank has initiated it. Um, I think it's very, very important to support our small medium enterprises. I mean, um, a lot of people um, don't have a lot going for them, and when they decide to kickstart a Kapana business, it's like a light. It's a light to somewhere and potentially growing and building a brand. And I think when NetBank gets on board and actually assists you in this regard, and mind you, NetBank doesn't do it alone. NetBank has all these sponsors such as Buck Pro, Agra, you name it. And I think through that, we are able to build this individual. And it's just part of building the country. I mean, this person will potentially make income. And who knows, they might become, the, they might be the person that will take Kapana International. Okay, so while you're speaking about Kapana, making Kapana as one of a one one career to dive into, how was the experience for you? Could you could you live a whole day making Kapana? You know what? <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know if I can. I'm not really that I, I love being at the grill, mm -hmm. but I cannot stand the grill, the smoke, the everything. So kudos to all these people that actually stand at the grill from eight o'clock on Gulimene in the morning <laughs> exactly. all the way until not even five o'clock. They go all the way until eight p.m. because mm. at five o'clock that's when you get more customers. Those yes. ones coming from work exactly. stand. So I think kudos to them. I can't do it as a career, unfortunately. So I'm very fortunate that I'm actually getting to live into something else. <laughs> but I'm really grateful for each and every person that actually does this as a career you are foot spa as um Tapata, okay. because I would say. before we leave give us a quick rundown of how your dish looks like and what exactly you focus on um it's a dish <laughs> <laughs> So our dish, um, we decided to make um, uh, we, we decided to make the original salsa, um, just like how the judges like it. But we added we had another dish with a twist, a salsa with pineapple, hey. because we wanted something sweet <laughs> okay. And then also instead of serving our meat on a plate like that, we're like, why make it so boring? Mm. We decided to put our meat inside. We scooped out all the insides of the pineapple okay. and we put our meat right inside there and. And I think it looked really amazing. I must, I'm, I'm, I'm very thankful to my teammate Rita, who really, really, I think, ne, I'm, I'm one of those people they call a control freak. I just want to do everything. <laughs> but she was able to balance me out and be like, listen, I'm scooping now. Bring the knife. She didn't say, can I? She said, bring the knife. Let me cut, I'm you know? Scooping now. So, exactly. So, I'm really grateful for my teammate. And I'm just grateful for the Kapana Cook Off, man. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining me, Hancho. I hope you had an amazing time. And I hope that you guys saw the great dish that they prepared, the team prepared, mm -hmm. and get to try it on your own time. Thank you so much. The NetBank Kapana Cook-Off media launch was definitely one for the books. I can say myself that I definitely enjoyed my time here, as well as tasting the food. That is exactly what what's cooking is about i'm excited to continue tasting great foods at different establishments but today was another different one stay tuned for another one next week